hey, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but do you sometimes get so frustrated with how the world is today? Do you look at your friends and you're like, really? You still believe that? I mean, I'm grateful that I don't have too many friends that don't know what's going on. But in today's reading, Jesus is telling us <laughs> what's going on. So let me read it real fast. Well, not real fast, but let me read it. Okay, the reading is Isaiah 25, 6 through 10. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all peoples a feast of rich food and choice wines, juicy, rich food and pure choice wines. On this mountain, he will destroy the veil that veils all peoples, the web that is woven over all nations, he will destroy death forever. The Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces, the reproach of his people. He will remove from the whole earth. And for the, for the Lord has spoken. On that day it will be said, Behold, our God to whom we look to has saved us. This is the Lord from whom we looked. Let us rejoice and be glad that he has saved us. For the hand of the Lord will rest on this mountain. Let me go back. The web that is woven over all nations, he will destroy. Death forever. But I really am reading into the fact that he will destroy the veil that veils all peoples and the web that is woven over the nations. We have been lied to. We have turned to authority and have just given authority our lives, our, decision, our decisions. I mean, how sad is that? Because when I look now at what the world is and how the veil is being pulled back, how people can see me, it started at COVID, the year 2020, you know, you have eyes to see, you realize that, oh my goodness, these people don't have my best interests at heart. Now, this is probably at the very top level, because when I think of teachers, I don't, you know, want to blame all of them, because it is coming from the top. I believe this is why Trump wants to eliminate and destroy the Department of Education, because it has been a top-down type of education. And I'm using education with air quotes around it, because it de definitely isn't the truth. Our history books have been, like, we've been taught lies. Just Monday I did a live, and all the Protestants' books have tradition changed to teachings in three of the New Testament where St. Paul is commending his people. I mean, you look all over. The government is corrupt. We are money, they are money laundering everywhere. Where is our money going? Do we have social security? Will people be able to? Hi, baby. Sorry, she's done with her little toy and wants to play. Ball. She's a ball player. Okay, I digress. Where was I? I'm pacing around with flip-flops, so you might be able to hear that too. Um, you know, the government is just tapping into the Social Security that we have all worked so hard to put in there. So I believe that the veil has been lifted. I believe that Trump is part of that veil lifting. Who was the one who said fake news? And I remember hearing him say that for one time, and I'm like, oh my gosh, he's ridiculous. And now look at it. It is fake. It is all for the Democratic partnership. They are lying. They try to sell a narrative. And think about it, everyone. How many of you had the veil over your eyes where you didn't pay any attention to what was going on, how we've been duped, lied to, stolen from, everything? There may be still a few of you out there that really don't know what's going on, but you're getting there. You're curious enough to research. You're listening to podcasts instead of the news channel. And I do include Fox in this. Okay. But God is going to take it 
all away. All away. He's going to take that web that is woven over the top of all nations and destroy it and destroy the veil that's been pulled over us. Lord, do it now. That's how I feel because, man, I, I don't get frustrated with how things are going in the world, but I do, I do get a little bit annoyed at the people that just don't care. And I was probably one of them. I was all about myself, drinking, partying, wasn't even watching news. And when I watched it, I really wasn't even listening. But if I was watching, I would be watching Fox. I was one of those people. So I pray for everyone to have their eyes open, eyes open, to have God come into their heart, have them have some curiosity. Aren't you at the least curious as to why we have been lied to so much? We've been stolen from. Our kids have been taught junk. Half of the, you know, new, what is it, like gender theories. There's like actual gender new diplomas that these people can get. And it's crazy. Oh my gosh, she's just looking at me. She's so patient. She loves this place because there's this huge long hall that she can run. I don't have that in the other house. Okay, so you got to drop it. You got to drop it. Sorry, everyone. I didn't mean to do that in the middle of a podcast, but I felt bad for her because she is so patient. Okay, so let's pray that God opens up people's eyes, that people become curious to what is truly going on. I mean, yes, I'm a conspiracy theorist. I'm tightening that beautiful tinfoil hat that I have because it's true. How come all the conspiracy theories have been true? Let's just look at Hunter Biden, who just got pardoned by Joe, who said for six months, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. How many of the 51 FBI agents who signed a fake letter saying that that laptop was Russian disinformation? It wasn't Hunter's. Turns out two years later, after the election, it was Hunter's. Always was. I'm telling you. Liars, liars, liars all over the place. All right. A couple things. I got a Christmas tree. I don't have decorations on it, but it's just a pre-lit Christmas tree. And it fills up the whole window, which is, you know, it's supposed to be seven feet. It doesn't look as big as I thought it would in here, but hey, I have one, which I'm so excited about. And I have like a little wreath thing that I have to hang on my mantle somehow. So we'll figure that out when I get some hooks to put on there. Hey, you got to bring it here. It's all the way down the hall. Sometimes we don't play catch the right way. (laughs) Fetch, really. Okay, let's pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. We thank you, Lord, for pulling the veil off of some of our eyes and help us to share this truth with others. Help us to share your truth with others too, so that we can be bold and brave and help our fellow family members and our fellow friends to see the truth about what's going on in the world and the truth about you. I love you. We all love you. We need your strength. We need your courage. We need a mission, and our mission is supposed to be a disciple. We are supposed to be disciples and make disciples, starting in our own family, but ultimately expanding out to who you put in our life. So help us all have that that brave chest, right? That chest plate from, oh, who is that? St. Patrick's chest plate. (laughs) Sorry, Lord. Please have us put it on and be protected from all of the negativity we may find. Help us to share podcasts and information with others so that it's not necessarily us that is passing the information along. We love you so much, Lord. Thank you for our faith, and we will do our best to live as you commanded us today with all of the people that we run into. 
And now we're going to pray for all of the holy souls in purgatory by name and for those poor souls who have no one to pray for them. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Please give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In your holy name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Advent update. So I have been doing well with my self-control with food. And I put a mat, I gotta throw this for her, she's so cute. And I put a mat down, like one of those rubber black mats that, I don't know, it's pretty big. I, I don't know the dimensions, but it's like one, two, three, four, five across and probably eight deep. And I'm so excited because I'm gonna be putting the shelves together later today. And then I can put the TV up and the DVD and then get all my stuff out there. I've got some mats still, and I have my rebounder already out there. I've got a couple of things. Unfortunately, I have no DVDs down here, so I'll have to use some bands, but it's so nice to have a place that I can work out. So it's in the garage on one side, my car is on the other, and super jazzed, because that is going to help me with my working out because I got on the scale today and I was like 123. I was 126 the other day. So that's no bueno. And I don't know if it's, I know it's muscle. I mean, I don't feel like my fat is shrinking that fast. So that's what I want to do is make sure that I work out because with this hyper thyroidism, you lose muscle so fast, but you can bring it back if you work out. So that's why I'm super excited to put that together. I hope all is going well on your advent. If you want to, please put a comment down. It would be wonderful for all of us to pray for each other during whatever it is that God has called us to do during this time. All right, everyone, I love you all so much. Find something more with God, soul, mind, and body, and have a blessed and inspired day.